Hello everyone. Today in this video we will know that in data export and import while exporting and importing accounts and inventory if the software shows an alert of you are not authorized to use this option that is this option is closed from the setup then how can you enable it now suppose if you see at the green bar shown to you below then the software will show you here that this option is currently disabled from this location means it is currently disabled from the operator bar so you can enable it by going to this location so let's come and enable it from the operator bars for this you will go to masters then to password and pass and then go to operators then select that user to whom you want to give the authority to export and import the data then come to utility and search export here and click on accept and now in data import or export field you will set as y then press escape key and save the changes again press escape key and click on yes to exit after this to whom you have given the authority of data export import they will relog in by pressing control u then go to reports then to management report then to utilities then from data export and import click on accounts and inventory export and import so you will now see that these options are been enabled apart from it suppose if the data export or import option is disabled from the control room so in this way it will be shown to you on the green bar that this option is disabled from the control room and you can enable it by going to this location so let's come and learn to enable it from the control room for this you will go to masters then to mark setups and then go to the control room then press enter on international settings and search export here and click on accept then in option of data import export both not required you will select both after that you will press escape key and will save the changes now after this when you will go to reports then to management report then to utilities and from data export and import click on accounts and inventory export and import then you will now see that you can use these options so in this way by following the process as shown in the video you can export and import the data without any alert thank you